Shorts you would like to So your opinion sucking big like Somebody's listening But buddy's listening So funny and Now this is a timeless read, whenever you fall upon it, it might be resonating with you. It is also a general read, so take what resonates and leave everything else behind you. So first we're going to start with some oracle card that will include some runes. So we're going to do it Nordic pirate style. As you notice, I changed my name, changed the style a little bit. And let's get started. So we are starting with the rune Yera. And so uh, here you can see she is embracing the world. So Yera here uh, is talking about karma. She is talking about a cycle. In one way, you could compare her a little bit to the world. As you can see here, she's holding actually a Celtic symbol, which I find a little bit strange that uh, the, the, not the author, but the artist have been mixing the Celtic origin a little bit with the Nordic. But if you go far back, you will see that Nordic language and the runes is very similar to the Celts. So at some point, probably during the Atlantean period, they were the same and one people. So at some point we split, but this, the languages are so similar, you can barely tell them apart. So this talks about one year. This also talks about patience. So there could be something here that you need to put behind you. There could be an end of a cycle. We, as we are doing this read, we have reached a new year and she's embracing it. She's not looking back. She's not reminiscing about the past. She's only hugging the earth and embracing what is to come. Now let's check out a few more runes. And so this would be a mix I got in India during the pandemic. And so they will also include some Celtic cards. So it is actually a mix. So whatever pops up, uh, it would be for you, Leo. Now let's have a look at your general energies. Okay, so the first card here uh, will be carrying the number three. So this is a room and it's called Thorn. So roses are very beautiful to look at, but the moment you touch them, you want to be a little bit careful. This is uh, attached to Aries energy. So this is about attack or defense. So some of you could have a very strong Mars placement, which is all about taking action. Some of you could have a very strong emperor energy. You could be influenced by Mars. What we do know now that Mars is now going forward. So Odin is back, Thor is back. So it's about time now to take action. And maybe some of you feel that you've been dwelling a little bit in the past, dwelling a little bit in your uh, in in some kind of energies that is not really serving you when it comes to practical issues. So this is the rune you can carve wherever you need it in order to, if you are even uh, doing martial arts, if you need to take action or if you need to defend yourself. And that is something that you might need right now. There could be some leftovers because the energies lately have been very agitated as both Saturn, Mars and Mercury, Mercury have been removing 
themselves uh, from the equation going backwards into this uh, triple strange bizarre macabre dance and so that means that you know Aries is kind of agitated in general it's very aggressive fireish energy they are cardinals and they are your siblings so when they rule em you know empires will rise so you could have a strong Aries placement but the energy of Aries is also very aggressive. So this is, you know, they are excellent regarding taking battle uh, or being in battle. They are excellent when it comes to strategies. In that case, I would want to have a Scorpio on my team. They are also ruled by Mars. So, so while the Aries energy would be more impulsive, if you have maybe Aries in your ascendant, you could have Mars or Jupiter in Aries. I myself have Jupiter in Aries and I absolutely love it. I think it's awesome. I have Mars in first house. I love martial arts. So yeah, this is about taking action. And I also have Leo progressive ascendant. So perhaps some of you could feel that it's now time to take back your exercises. It's now time to, maybe some of you really want to try out martial art or try something new. There could be some impulses there that you need to take a little bit care of. You could have some agitated impulses that are simply leftovers or echoes because Mercury is still in <laughs> dancing backwards. So I would give it another week before I make any hasty decisions, signing any contracts myself. I have chosen to stay here with uh, at wonderful Jackie's nest, the cliffs, until Mercury starts moving forwards. Now Mercury in reverse also talking about something coming back so i am not afraid to travel actually during the reversal of mercury i'm not exact exactly because you are protected you are protected but you need to be extra cautious about especially with mars here that have been there there have been a lot of arguments lately between people perhaps you felt felt more irritated than usual perhaps you felt more tired than usual this is now going to change leo this is going to change. So the other card here is about Beltane. So we have also three twice here, which equals the lover's card. So there could be a lover involved in the equation, but there is here, it could be something here regarding a property Maybe some of you want to leave a property, buy a new property. It's about a negotiation. This is Taurus energies. This is Gemini energies. And this is, this is about someone giving you the key to a new house, literally. Perhaps you're buying a property. Perhaps you need to rent a new property. Perhaps a lover is moving in and you need to make a contract. I would for sure recommend that. Uh, I, I <laughs> Trust me on that one. I'm not going to get personal. But when it comes to creating a contract, take a good look. Because it turns out that people that you've been knowing for 20 years can be your worst enemies when you separate okay so this is about talking negotiation and it is something that could be happening around may the third taurus mercury energies so six equals the lover it could be a lover involved so you can have a small look here someone are passing over the scroll. You can see around there are houses here. As you can see here on this little symbol here, this is uh, symbolizing Earth actually. It's an ancient shamanistic symbol of Mother Earth. Also here you have the sun world. So, uh, so let's move on.
so yeah uh, the card set tells you to be patient look through whatever contract there is you're dealing with leo don't be impulsive i know i've been impulsive myself and that resulted in me getting an owner that did not just uh, he's abusing animals and uh, he was also into my room twice a day uh, and he would be he would come a little bit close no matter what star sign you are and especially for us who are nordics we like our space right so an indian old man and i had no contract thank god but i had paid in advance and he would come invite himself into my room twice a day and he would be a little bit too close touching me okay so take a good look because contracts when it comes to words they are easy to bend because most of the times things are written in adjectives if things are written with too many adjectives then that's very subjective isn't it so you want it to be uh, as mathematically equivalent as possible when you write the color blue you have many variations of blue yeah okay so let's continue Lu um, Lugnas <laughs> it's difficult for me to pronounce this this is ancient ancient Celtic Lugnasad, Lugnasad, okay, Lugnasad. Uh, so, again, you get the lover's card here. So it's clearly that some of you have some kind of love going on, Leo. Uh, I also see many, many tiny little helpers. You could have people or tiny little spirits around you that are helping you with something. I also see growth here. This is strong Virgo, Virgo energy here. Okay. Uh, Yes, this is something about autumn and this tells you the second week that you need to take a look into certain kind of details. So this period is called Lugnasa. So have a look at those small tiny helpers there. I mean, they're just adorable. But they say that each and every living being here on Ea, Earth, slash Gaia, whatever, does have a tiny little deva attached to it to keep to help up keeping the vibrations and each and every one of us have a different song now this can be manipulated so three three six equals a twelve which again equals a three now three is a very important number that you might want to look into talking about three here we have one and three equals a four so again we could be dealing with something very physical a property so eo uh, eo is uh, about endurance about death about change so here we have libra energy so when it's about endurance and death and change it simply means you can see here wonderful beautiful beautiful viking details you can see that it is in the end of october when the leaves fall from the trees after some time the the secret inside the tree needs to retrieve itself from the leaves so the leaves will die and fall to the ground and the secret with or we, as we call it in Norway, Sevje, it will retrieve itself back to Mother Earth, into the roots. So this could speak about that some of you might want to retrieve yourself, maybe withdraw your energies a little bit, perhaps in this new house. Uh, we will have a closer look at it with the tarot cards. There could be a Libra involved here. You could check your placement, but this is four. So four is about, it can be everything. Uh, when it's four, it's something about resting, mental rest, meditation. Uh, 
Here we have some Aries energies, and uh, this is about spring equinox. So this could speak about that during spring, during equinox, there will be something for you to look forward to. Forward to. This is the 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 forest god, the horned god. Sometimes we know him as Pan. Um, I would say that you know Aries, but also Capricorns. When Capricorns are getting older, they would be released from the very strict Saturnalian regime, and they would turn into Pan, more playful, play instruments, dance naked in the forest, have their funny orgies uh, with red wine, drinking, people making in love they would be embracing the animal inside everything is divine this is a very strong mother earth energy again check your chart we have taurus taurus libra we have Virgo. we have Aries. now let's check one more rune for you This is an interesting read, Leo. I don't know what you have going on now, but... Okay, so I talk a little bit because this is what you do not see that might appear for you, uh, Leo. Um, in my previous Scorpio read, I talk about the return of Odin. Because Odin, he's been gone for some time. Because when both Saturn, Mercury and the entire tribe of gods are gone, and they are, you feel this energy of something working against you. That's the sensation of Alpha also being gone from your life. But when he's coming back, when Saturn is going straight forward, Mars is going straight forward. Here you have Odin and his wife Frigg together. Shiva Shakti energy, two of cups. Also, this uh, rune is called man or manus in another card you will see that there is a man this is capricorn aquarius energy but you will see that there is this is about humanity but this is also about creating balance between shiva shakti because if you in, in this deck you would see a simple man who is meditating yeah so this is simply symbolizing the human in balance, not in balance, but balanced, <laughs> okay? And it can also symbolize two people, two of cups, who are in balance together, who are balancing together. Okay, I think you get my point. <laughs> I'm just gonna overdo it. And again, here, there is something about autumn or e equinox here to celebrate. So it seems to be a lot of Libra here in your chart, fertility, love, celebration coming in. And the last rune here would be Imbolc. So it's a lot of Celtics here. So that is Aries Capricorn energy. So this card simply speaks about you uh, need to self-promote yourself. You don't go out there and promote your work. So you don't really have to be a Leo or an Aries. Let's say you have, like me, I have Moon, Uranus, uh, conjunct the Sun, which, which, it it is like an amplifier for the Sun and for the Moon and for Uranus and all these other placement, including this placed in the house of Leo. And I know that the only way to get forward in life for the work that I do. Uh, this channel for me is a hobby, okay? So don't look at this channel and, oh, oh, oh my God, this it's got four views. She's got four views. This channel is my hobby. This is my manus. This is my meditation. I have buttloads of cards. This is not where I make my money from. This is something I love to do. So when it comes to self-promotion, it could imply that uh, regarding April the 2nd for you, it could be something here regarding an opportunity for you that will come in, Leo. You can see here, she carries all these powerful runes. This is Mars energy. So this advises you to take action. And Leo, people are looking up to you. You are actually, you, know, you know, you are the charmers of the zodiac. You are the very center of the zodiac. But 
be a little bit careful so you promote what you do what you can give and not your own ego do not feed the ego love your ego like a child but it needs to be disciplined okay so let's have a look at what's going on what is going on with leo is there any anything extra we need to look so we're going to have a look at the tarot i'm not going to dig deeper into these cards further for now anyway I'm putting her right there showing the energies for leo <laughs> shuffling these cards is like yeah yeah that's so fun i love shuffling these cards <clears throat> they are giant so i always choose these cards for leo i feel they have this leo slash libra energy to them it's um with this golden touch um, the style is called yugen style which is from the early 1900 when people were bored of industrialism and started to get interested in things that was more organic in shape. So it was a very beautiful area where you find architects and artwork, which is just stunning. So I choose this for Leo. So give me some energies for Leo, great spirit. Show me the energies for Leo. And it is right now, what's crowning, what they have in the past, okay? I think that's a lot. That's a lot. <clears throat> there is something here about setting limits, Leo. There could be some vicious slandering right here with the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is Libra energy. Could be someone who are talking, saying things that are not very constructive about you or what you do. There could simply be some kind of jealousy. There could also be a lack of setting limits properly. There is some kind of a secret, something something I feel that you need to defend yourself a little bit, Leo, towards someone or something, but it is very hidden. There is a lot of passion here. It seems like some of you have someone coming in here. Okay, I, I have something here that you can see them more clearly. I want to avoid using that thing. It is old and fugly. So this is Pisces energy. Some of you could uh, be in this energy of wanting to offer your love to someone or you could have someone coming in. Could be someone coming in right now. They are very um, emotional. It could be a little bit Undisciplined, depending, you know, if they are very, very much water, uh, they could be very introvert. So coming towards this cup, they could also be a little bit slick. But we will see, we will see, Leo. Pisces energy, yeah, good or bad. So, what? Opposing energy right now. What kind of challenges do Leo have right now? Okay, so you need to make a call regarding something. One kind of decision. It could have something to do with someone, an individual. There is a fight here. It could be an inner fight with the with lunar card, <laughs> with the moon card here. Shall I or shall I not? But you need to make the decision and that is a challenge. 
you're holding on to something, there is something that you might need to let go. And in order to do that, you need to make the decision. And perhaps that could pull you a little bit out from your comfort zone, Leo. So what is hidden in Leo's past? What is hidden in Leo's past? What is hidden in Leo's past? I really should just have them finished shuffle before I begin. <laughs> I feel the cards that are jumping out are more... It's, it's almost like the universe or your subconsciousness that are pushing them out to show you. So, okay, so here we have something. Okay, this one also want to come out. We have some kind of twister. Oh my God, there's a long story here. Okay, there's a storyline. Uh, that's actually too much. Okay, so in your past, there is a grief. There is some kind of a trauma here, which makes you a little bit guarded, basically. You left a very bad habit or someone that harmed you somehow. They caused you a lot of grief. They caused you a lot of sorrow. And at some point you said, you know, enough is enough. I don't need this anymore. I don't, I deserve actually better. Devil in reverse here. I'm going, not going to, I want you to have a good look because of the artwork itself, but it's coming up in reverse. So you chose with the world card here to turn your back and end this chapter with this individual. And so you went on a new path. Although you were heartbreak broken, three of swords here, you could also have felt that, you know, this individual did not want to commit to you. There's something, uh, this is cap. All the queens are the cardinals. It, it feels like they could have left you in a manner that took away your confidence a little bit, your self-confidence. And then this energy came of you moving far, 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 far fast forward. You, in the end, managed to detach emotionally from a lover. This one is in reversed. And yet again, this lover seemed to perhaps returning to you, Leo. Two of Cups here. There could be a return of a loved one. If that's the case, it could happen very soon. It usually happens during retrogrades. Interesting enough, Two of Cups here is popping up as Leo. Uh, usually this is Mercury in Cancerian or Cancer, which is, sounds like a disease, but this is because true love. I did do a search once on the map on this strange application uh, where I, you know, it's based on algorithms. And I said, uh, I, I'm going to search for true love and see what kind of symbol or whatever I will find outside here in uh, Varkala. And I ended up with a lion gate, a pink lion gate. So the Leo symbol alone is a symbol for true love. So there was a true love here, but there was no commitment. They they disappointed you. They caused you great grief, Leo. And so whatever path you are on now, it's, it's very fresh. It's very new and you're keeping your guard up. But there is someone here also keeping an eye on you. Someone here is keeping an eye on you. Page of Swords. They could be very immature, sharp, intellectual, but I feel that someone overran you somehow and you failed to set your limits. But you're embracing the world now. You're embracing the world. There is a new beginning here for you. So, what is crowning? What is crowning the situation for Leo? What is crowning the situation for Leo? And what is the recent past for Leo? Show 
show me the recent past show me the recent past show me the recent past oh, here you are leo jupiter in leo some kind of a victory here possibly coming in so in the recent past there was some injustice here and I feel that you really are bored of people playing mind games here. Justice card and, and, and five of swords in reversed. Someone trying to play mind games and I, I see maybe you just, you know, fluff this, I'm out, I'm not interested in this. This owl is very clever, it's very smart. And she knows that giving in to this slander, this drama, this circus will not serve me in the long run. You can let people win and yet walk away with your honor because you know that you are not the one who started this shit. This is what I get in, this is what I feel, Leo. Okay, so let's check out. Okay, that's a very long story. So it could seem like there are, there are some issues regarding a new beginning here, Leo. And that is because Things have been very tough for you and it could be difficult for you now to see things as they are a little blocked okay eight of swords here you don't see things clearly now but I promise you if you see this now this is 14th of January around 18th of January things will be more clear for you and uh, you will you, you will leave you will leave someone or something here there you might get an invitation to a celebration but it seems some of you might reject it you are a little bit in the dark now you're very much in the dark regarding a situation but you have gained your power people now see you as the empress some of you could could have reached your 40s but here you are fertile wonderful, charming, far more attractive than you could have given yourself credit for in the past. And you're still at guard. You're still paying attention. You're not a fool. It could be some restless energy, say, or you could be bored of being at in this meditative mode, this, that, this energy, I see this energy here of I want to move on now, I want to continue my project, four of swords in reverse, it's time now to wake up because being in this four, four of swords in reverse too long, you're still in the four of swords that you can't move on with four in reverse can create a major depression. And so I see now that this depression will, it will leave you. Let's check out the possible outcome. Don't make it into more than it is. So here you are gaining your natural power back. Some of you could have a Capricorn placement. And this five of coins in reverse. You, will, you are including yourself, Leo. You are including yourself. You are no longer out in the cold. And here we have... Wow, this is beautiful. This is wonderful. Some of you could be artists or simply working with uh, some kind of magic. Okay, this is something returning 
all powers from a very it could be even genetic from or, or from your soul path or a soul print but someone here it seems to be reaching out that cup for you leo page of cups they could be much younger than you it could also be you that are ready to return that cup to whoever is coming in for you leo It, I, I see someone that it seems like you're looking away a little bit. You're not really paying attention to anything else that something that is very beautiful, the ocean, the sea, the fog. You're creating something with your magic, with all the elements. And there is someone standing behind you seeing this wonderful woman who now have reached the stage of an empress the stage of someone who are taking your power back leo this read makes me want to be a leo <laughs> but i i do actually have a strong leo placement but that does not make me a leo but i think i have six placement in the house of leo saturn in leo progressive um, <laughs> progressive ascendant in leo so I, I could probably fool someone to think i am but uh, you have this natural i see people who are real leos they have this natural charm and this wonderful sense of humor that can make anyone jealous so when leo when you are standing in your power when you don't need anyone any everyone wants to be leo everyone you know you have julia roberts she's got leo moon who's this guy aquaman guy that's a leo with a scorpio moon super attractive you know with with the charm and with the mystery from scorpio here you have someone around you whom that they, they desire you but they they are beaten up leo they are beaten up it could be someone at your work someone you've been working with but it seems to me that you know you have the wounded warrior here in your surroundings could be someone who wants a second chance with you leo but we we all know about second chances i mean <laughs> someone needs to let go of something or some kind of judgy mentality it says here leo that you need to to it's like here it's reversing it's like there is someone here you might have a weakness for them so this is a little bit of a warning when she was going in reverse that but we will have a look at this individual a small look although we are way past time um makes me a little bit curious because there is something here that it's almost distracting you or you are looking into something almost like a scorpio you could have a scorpio placement like a detective here but it's, it's also warning you about do not let your guard down but you could also look at this someone here and feel this oh my god he or she is so wounded oh poor thing this is compassion some of you could be super empaths but i'm warning you if, if this individual has been trouble before then don't let your guard down there is someone also who's keeping an eye on you so This is someone, uh, I'm warning you about someone who could be codependent.
There is something karmic here. There is someone here that might prevent you from moving on or they might not have been moving on at all with the Six of Swords in reverse here. Something about not moving on. This is someone who could have been very in and out, not willing to commit, friend zoning you, warm, cold, in, out, confusing you, having no patience, eight of wands in reverse, and the hangman in reverse. I don't think I need a lot of cards regarding this individual, um, Leo. You need to take a good look at this individual and, and not saying you should not have compassion, but this is very clearly someone around you who are playing you. They are using some kind of, but, but I trust that when you are, when you reach this read, Leo, that you already know. And that could also be why this is reversal, because when she goes reverse, reverses, she's also kind of pissed, saying, you know what? I'm not just, you know, I'm going a little bit Nina here, right? Because now this individual is coming back and he's going to screw me over. And I'm not going to let that happen. Okay, so let's check out four possible outcomes, Leo. That's a lot. Wow. <laughs> okay, shit. Okay, that's not such it. So it seems like you're quite aware of this. Wow, uh, I'm like a little speechless. Oh my God, do you see this? It's just, oh my God. It could be that you have new love coming in. So have, have an extra good look at these cards here regarding this contract. Okay, because we also had two of cups here. Manus, this one. So there is something here. There is new love coming in. So, and maybe that's why the, the, the old love is also noticing that, okay, you're moving on. Ten of cups here, okay? But it seems from the cards with four of wands in reverse here that that whatever wedding or whatever is not happening just yet. So this could be far, far into the future. I don't know. Um, okay, so we have Leo, Virgo energy. It could be something regarding the 10th, the 10th month, the, as in October. Uh, it's the rune need, need feeling, the pinch. It seems to me that this is what they want. Someone here wants to commit. This is someone coming in. They could be a little bit humble now because they see this uh, Empress. This is a wonderful, this is just incredible. I'm like, <laughs> I'm happy for you, Leo. This is someone, uh, I, I believe actually in this one. Usually I'm very critical regarding love. I have very few good experiences with uh, partnership and, and uh, that does not make me the saint, but I've been attracting some really awkward situations in my life so seeing this because it is possible i see very often couples 
yeah maybe you won't see it right away but i often see couples in their 80s holding hands and think well it is it is they do exist how however it's not so much anymore because it's about expectations if you want to change someone then perhaps you are the one that needs to change your attitude but very often I see that the empaths are giving and giving and giving and then you're barely being breadcrumbed in return. Yeah? But this is a major... But, but it's like you're like... Yeah... <laughs> yeah... And we will see, but they seem to be quite persistent here with the Hierophant. They want to commit. And they're going to take action here with the Emperor. This is someone mature. This is someone who wants it all with you. So I leave that up to you, Leo, uh, whether you want to take a chance on uh, this one. Um, I'm a little bit curious on their vibe but at the same time I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to destroy the good vibe so there are some actually some love cards here it's like to be a big thing in our lives we we all want to belong and then you have people who are usually very young they, they want to explore the world before they find the one and this is very often where it collides Sometimes the one needs to be fine when, when both are actually adults. So let's see. We are ending again on a three here. So look out for the owl, Leo. Again, the owl. It could be someone who are very wise, very clever. This is for sure a lover. They could be a traveler. It could be Pisces energy here. Um, here we are also landing in the Libra energy. This is also a king. This is, um, my God, I should learn this. <laughs> um, wow, 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 wow. We, we for sure do have Scorpio energy. We could be any, anything. Oh my God, yeah, he or she, well, do not, you know, mind the, the gender, okay? Mind the gender. So if, if you're a girl, here's your guy. He's like, he's waiting for your answer. You're landing on Aries energy again. He's waiting for your answer, Leo. Oh, come on, will you please, re will you please respond? It seems to me that, you know, they might want to travel and here again with a four here. Um, all the elements here, they for sure want to commit. But I see with the four of wands are in reverse. Maybe you want to wait a little bit with that. Maybe they want to commit, but you know, marriage is not for everyone. They could feel a little bit intimidated by you, but there is a clarity that will come and it's on its way. And so it's up to you really, uh, Leo, whether you want to go for this or not. But look for the owl. You might have a dream about owls. You might hear the owl. There's something here regarding the owl. So unless he, a free, unless he is a Freemason, <laughs> funny. So check up the owl energy, but you both seem to be very wise. Beautiful read, Leo. I wish you a happy new year. Whenever you see this read, I love you so much. I missed you so much. All my Leo's um, best friends. <laughs> always make me laugh thank you so much for everything you've taught me in this life and i hope this read can be um, some little bit uh, in return for you from my heart see you later and welcome back to the oracle
Boop.